Hey guys, my name is Ethan, this is Cobra, and welcome to the series where I teach you how to manipulate images in Python. Today, we will be setting ourselves up and also going over how to load and save images. Of course, before you can actually do any sort of manipulation, you need to install the correct packages, so I'm going to be teaching you how to do that. But also, because that doesn't really take an awful long time, I'm going to be teaching you the basics of how to load and how to save an image. We're just going to be uh, changing the file extensions to demonstrate that but these are really important things to know and I want to get them out of the way early. Of course if you find the video helpful at any point and don't forget to hit the like button to let me know and potentially consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on future installments of the series. But with all that out of the way let's get into it. So as I said before we can actually do any sort of image manipulation we need to install everything we need to install. Now I'm going to go over these quite quickly because some of these are rather basic. So the first thing obviously is Python, if you don't have it and you go to your internet browser uh, and then go to python.org uh, forward slash downloads, oh god I say I'm going to make it quick and I, <laughs> I mess up the URL, but you can go to here and you can hit this yellow button and it will give you the latest version of Python. Uh, as I'm recording this it's Python 3.9.1. Uh, you need at least Python 3.6.0, so if you have Python 3.8 and don't want to, and don't want to upgrade then you should be perfectly fine. You're also going to need an ID or some sort of text editor. You probably have a preferred one already, but if you don't, I would recommend Visual Studio Code. So you can go to code.visualstudio.com, I believe it is anyway. Yeah. You can hit one of these buttons. Uh, these buttons are dependent on your OS, so I'm on Linux, so it's going to be Debs and RBMs. If you're on Windows, it'll give you EXE, so don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, uh, once you've got those two down, we can get rid of that, and we can actually go into our ID. So I have all mine already open. Um, and I'm going to quickly explain uh, all these files just to avoid any sort of confusion. So the editor config, git ignore license and readme, you don't need to worry about, you don't need any of those. Uh, these are just here for the GitHub repository which will be in the description. They just make everything easier to me and make everything better for you. Um, but the three things that we are going to want to talk about are these three directories. So the first one is this tutorial. This is where all of our scripts are going to go. Each episode is going to have a separate script. Um, and they're all just going to be in here because that makes it easier. Uh, this images folder up here contains all our base images, so I've got a few to go through. I've got this one of a fox, this used to be my wallpaper on my second screen, so no one ever really saw it, but I had it for a while. Uh, and the other four I actually took myself. So this Blossom one is just a really cool one to have. You have one of Swansea Marina, and you have another one on a plane in the National Science Museum. This would be really useful for one particular video, but we'll get that to that later. Then also for stuff with squares, so profile pictures or whatever, I have this picture of a Ferrari because I still find it hilarious all these years later. I took that in Gran Turismo 5, um, and <laughs> I still can't go over that. Uh, so those are our base images, and then we have this saved images directory here. Um, oh, ignore these two. These are my previous takes at this. <laughs> I am a professional, don't uh, question me. But essentially... Um, this folder is where we're going to have our modified images, so it just keeps them separate from the base images so we don't get confused. Um, a lot of that is optional, you don't have to have a separate images folder, you don't have to have a separate images folder, you can just put your scripts on the root level, you don't have to have these. Um, I'm just doing it my way because of workflow reasons, but again, you can do it however you want. So. With that in mind, we now need to install the libraries that we're going to need to install. And in fact, there's only one this time. It's just one called Pillow. Now, Pillow is a fork of a library called Pill. Hasn't been updated for a while, um, but Pillow is essentially just the updated version of Pill. So we can open our terminal. If you're on Windows, you can use a CMD or a PowerShell or whatever. It doesn't matter, uh, although administrative uh, privileges sorry, are preferable on Windows. On Linux, you don't want to use sudo to do pip. And uh, you can do simply pip install uh, pillow. On uh, Windows, you may need to do pi 3.9 m pip install pillow. On Linux, you might need to do python 3.9 m pip install pillow. Uh, and that works for Mac OS as well. However, because of the way I have it set up, I can just do that and it'll work. Um, if you don't know what virtual environments are, you don't need one of them either. I will probably do a video explaining them, but again, I'm doing everything I'm doing just for workflow reasons. Reinstalled all my OSs recently, and I just want to keep everything clean this time. So we're just doing it that way. As you can see, that doesn't take, it doesn't even have any dependencies. Uh, that doesn't take long to install. If you get an error saying you have an outdated pip version, don't worry about it. It's fine. Um, so we're going to create our first script, because we now are going to uh, load and save stuff. So we're just going to call this one load and save.py. 
And we're here, I'm gonna make the code a little bit bigger and the whole UI just for people on mobile and tablet. So uh, we need to do our import. So I said that pillow is a fork of pill. Uh, so you actually import pill. So from pill, import a uh, image. Let me just get my notes up. Uh, so um, even though the library is called pillow, you still actually in, uh, import pill. I guess I just did that for backwards compatibility reasons. Um, but either way, it doesn't matter too much. Then we come down here, and I'm gonna do if name uh, equals main. And essentially what this does is it tells Python to only run this bit of code if, um, if this is the main script, if this is a script we actually choose to run. If this was imported somewhere, the code in this block would not run. Uh, it basically just helps, you know, clean stuff up a bit. It's not really necessary, but it's a nice thing to know. Uh, so with image dot opens, this opens an image, and then we pass in our file directory. Uh, so we can do images, and then we'll have the autumn fox that should have fox off dot uh, jpg as im. So this is in context managers. Uh, if you uh, if you don't know what a context manager is, I had a uh, I made a video on one on them quite recently. Lost the power of speech. Uh, but you can find that in the top right corner of the video. If it's not there, someone please do remind me in the comments because I always seem to forget these things. Uh, but that essentially just opens our image to actually use. And to check that, we can simply do print uh, im dot size. And what this will do is it will just print the size of the image as a tuple. So we can go back into our terminal. Uh, if you're on Sublime, it's Control B. Some IDs, it's F5. I'm just doing it through the terminal because that's the easiest way to do it on Visual Studio Code. And I'm just going to do python tutorial slash one dash load and save to pi. As you can see, we have a 1920 by 1200. Uh, so it's 1920 wide and 1200 tall. It's 16 by 10 image, this particular one. And after we've loaded it, we can save it again. So as I said in the intro, we're just going to, to change the... Um, the file extension, but uh, but I'm doing this just to prove that we are actually saving this differently. So we're gonna do saved images slash, uh, let's see, we'll, we'll just call it autumnfox.py, uh, not .py, .png, <laughs> there we go. And then uh, if we load the terminal up again, we can run that. As you can see, it takes a little while and we have our autumnfox.png. We have loaded it and we have saved a different version of it. And this is the exact same image. It's now just a different file extension. So if we go here, we have JPG here and PNG here. So that uh, really is the basics of loading and saving images. If you have any questions and don't be afraid to leave a comment or ask in a Discord server, which you can find in the description below. Uh, but yeah, with that, I'd like to thank my super patron, Darky, and all of my other patrons for being as awesome as they are. And I'll see you next time where we talk about scaling and rotating images.